So here's my poster and a couple others. What's up, beautiful people of YouTube? It is I, Rami B, and I am back once again with another vlog in Tempe, Arizona. As you can see, I'm all, all dressed out. Let me show you all that outfit real quick. Let's see if you can see it here pretty good. There we go, see? I got the, check the detail on the tie right there. Oh, it's not that good lighting. Check the detail on the tie, I got some flowers going on. Yeah, but it is the first day of the Muslim Mental Health Conference, so I am actually heading there now. Luckily, it's in the same property as my hotel, so it's just in their conference center. So it's only like a one minute walk. So yeah, if you are new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Like and comment. Thank you for tuning into my videos. Stay tuned for some cool Muslim mental health stuff. Um, this conference is really great. A lot of professionals who are Muslim, some that aren't as well, but focusing on how we can provide mental health treatment and outcomes for Muslims in America, since that is a population that's not really researched as much or focused it focused on as much when it comes to mental health. So I'm gonna meet a lot of professionals at Network. I already know a lot of people since this is my third year coming in a row, but you always do meet new people and you get to learn new things and just find out about different resources that are available to Muslims. So definitely very excited. This is actually my favorite conference that I've ever been to. So that's why I always keep coming back. So yeah, stay tuned and I got to get down there to set up my poster. Two hours later. I, uh, I miss some of the Southeast Asian American experience. I, really, I didn't call it out um, as directly. And so that's the things that I'm thinking about moving forward. Nonetheless, um, again, in terms of positionality, I think it's important to think, think about um, generational status. About 71% were born in the United States, 88% were heterosexual, and this group was a pretty highly educated group with almost 60% completing their um, four, a four-year degree or a master's degree. And then in terms of marital status and in terms of hijab status, there were about uh, the group was about split. Uh -huh. Social withdrawal, sadness or no mood, excessive worrying, kind of like anxiety, Feeling nervous, on our edge, poor attention or focus, poor impulse control, difficulty getting along, getting along well with others, severe anger and aggression. We know that mental illness can cause problems both for the children and much larger for the families. So here's my poster and a couple others. They finally got them up because they didn't have boards earlier, but they are up. So there's mine in the middle. Here's someone else's I knows and yeah. All right, I made it back to my hotel room. It's actually six o'clock now. I didn't I didn't record too much in the conference. Uh, I don't know why I didn't, but yeah. Now that I'm here, I need to pray. And then I'm actually going out to get dinner. I'm actually gonna go to a hummus place that's half a mile away, get some food and bring it back to the hotel because I'm tired. Um, and I want to I want to have an early night tonight because tomorrow is another day of the conference So I need to be energized for that and well rested because again Saturday is gonna be my long Grand Canyon day So yeah, let's I'll get back to y'all when I get to my food place I guess or on the way there. I made it. It's called hummus Express And I'm gonna eat it here. So let's see what it's all about. So this is how you do it. You It's like Chipotle you literally just build it. So let's go Hello. Can this is my first time. Can I get a bowl? Rice? Yeah. And which protein do you like? Ooh, what do you recommend? It's my first time. Probably the chicken. The chicken's really good. Okay, I'll do the chicken. And which uh vegetable? I'll do the garlic herb potatoes. Okay. I'll do the classic garlic. Salad. Um, does that come on the side or? Yeah. Or it comes in the corner. Uh, I don't want any salad. All right. Ooh, let's see. I'll do some olives. And is that Parmesan cheese there? Uh, feta. Feta. Okay, I'll do olives, feta, and feta. Anything else before I touch the feta? No, no, no. And what are these sauces? Ooh, tzatziki. I'll get some tahini on it. Here's the final product. Chicken, rice, hummus, feta cheese, tahini sauce, potatoes, and black olives. So 
let's see let's see if this one's good a few moments later all right that food was really really good all my hair's messed up that was amazing i uh crushed it killed it um it was a little weird at first having rice with hummus and tahini and black olives like the mixture was was a little weird at first but it was great and now on my way back to the hotel i am stopping by a place called donut co so I want to go see what these donuts look like. You know, I've been uh, watching what I eat like before this conference for the last like month and a half. Since actually I got back from Florida, I've been watching what I eat and I lost some weight, but I figured now that I'm here, since I'm out of state on a trip, I should splurge. And then when I go back, it's all serious until Ramadan, which comes in a month and a half and like through my birthday. So splurge, get some dessert. They look really good here though. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what they got. All right, the donuts look really, really good. I almost bought a half a dozen, but I'm not I'm not splurging that much. So I just got two glazed. You always gotta go glazed, because glazed glazed are usually the best ones no matter where you go. And then I got a chocolate sprinkles, kept it basic. Um, there were so many good ones, but I went with the two that I know would probably be good. And now I am heading back to my hotel. As you can see, the sun is setting. It's looking really beautiful over there. Can't wait to get back to the hotel, change, you know, the best feeling. I think I said it last year. Because last year when I started vlogging, I was at the Muslim Mental Health Conference too. But yeah, I, uh, the best feeling in the world is after a long day in a suit, taking it off and just... And the greatest feeling is taking off your tie and letting your neck breathe and then taking your foot out of uh, your feet out of dress shoes that is that's actually the underrated one like this is all right like this is cool but taking listen taking your feet out of these Woo! all right so as you can see i took my suit off i'm feeling really really comfortable and great right now very very comfortable glad i took all that off but let me show you the donuts right here a smart version of me would just eat one, but I'm gonna eat them both because why not, right? Anyways, it's about 7.45 now and I am going to end the night here. I am not ending this vlog though. Um, as you know, the conference is three days long. I'm only attending two days because I'm going to the Grand Canyon on the third. So the rest of this vlog will be the second day of the conference, which is Friday. But yeah, just letting you know that everything after this clip is on Friday. I'm just tired and want to get some rest and relax. So yeah, I will see y'all tomorrow on the second day of the conference. Day two of the conference. As you can see, a little more casual today. I'm wearing a suit, but no tie. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Keeping it kind of casual today for Friday. So yeah, heading out now. It's The conference is... Literally just started, it's 8 o'clock right now, so I gotta get down there, set up my poster, and then, yeah, do the poster stuff. I'll try to get more footage today of this, of the conference. So, oh my god, I hate when the lighting does that. Alright, so I'll catch y'all later. over the phone. Uh, when callers do call, we always tell them that we don't ask for your name, your number, or address. We actually have a saying, and this what happens in Masiha stays at Masiha. Um, our hours of operation have increased now to seven days a week, on Monday to Sunday from three to nine. And due to the feedback from the community that we got and the work that we started to do, we started to realize that we're working with more than Muslim youth. And so we rebranded to Masiha Mental Health last year. Okay, so you're just, okay. We have to then look at mental health and situate it within the Islamic sciences. Where does it fit within the Islamic sciences? The great Islamic sciences, and there's different ways that this has been articulated by the, uh, by the, uh, by the Islamic scholars, and uh, this is one such conceptualization, and, uh, and, and, uh, and I'll translate it for you. It's al fiqh al-Akbar, which is our creed. The discussion that I talked about thus far about sources of knowledge is found in the works of the Mutakallimim of our creedal information. It was going to happen, and it happened. And there's no next, there's no plan for next. 
And that was the tallest thing we could get to when they ended up committing suicide. Um, faith in God and higher power was the second criteria. Um, a feeling of connection to others and that you are part of something bigger, which is certainly something that we have in Islam. Not, all, not only do we have connections and compassion for others, this is a criteria for us, but also we are have, we have connections, like the concept of Ummah, right? A larger society, for a lack of a better uh, translation, is the concept that you are connected as a person, as a part, without any kind of temporal or spatial dimension. In other words, people generally noted that their courtship was really short, and they had a lot of challenges. They struggled with getting to know one another because there wasn't really a framework in place for them to get to know one another. And they were trying to reconcile between family expectations, cultural expectations, and religious expectations about what is an appropriate way to get to know someone, right? Are we dating? Are we allowed to use the word dating? What does that process actually look like? Ooh, look at that lighting, though. This is the only way I can vlog in the hotel room, because if I vlog like this, it gets, oh, it's actually not that dark, but earlier it was. But this right here, out by the window, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, the conference is over for me. They're still going on tomorrow, which again, like I said, I won't be going. But I am back in my hotel room. It's kind of like sad to leave the conference, just because, like I mentioned before, it's full of Muslims who are interested in mental health, and they're all like-minded individuals, and they're all very helpful. Like, it's a small, intimate conference, so everybody wants to network and connect, and you actually build relationships with people, unlike bigger conferences where everybody's like in a rush, 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 and there's no time to talk. So it's definitely kind of sad to leave. Like, every year when I'm leaving, it's like sad, because, you know, you build good relationships with people, and then you don't see them again for another year. Yeah, definitely a conference I'm trying to go to next year again. This is a conference I want to go to every year whether it's uh, presenting or if I can volunteer and help out just to help it grow and things like that definitely gonna try to do that but they're saying next year is gonna be in Chicago and I've never been to Chicago so that would be exciting um, it would be in March or April again so eh, the weather may not be the best uh, but you know it'll be fun definitely cool to check out but yeah like I said I am back in my hotel room it's currently about 530 right now I do need to pray and then I am going to take the airport shuttle to the, the hotel shuttle to the airport so I can pick up my car rental. Two hours later. Here's my car. It's a black Jeep Compass. It looks pretty new too. Hey, I'll take it. I will take this car. All right, so I'm in the car rental right now. And uh, you know, I hate when I go get car rentals and they keep trying to upsell you on things. Like the guy was like, where are you going? I'm like the Grand Canyon. And he was like, do you want to get an all wheel drive car? I'm like four. He was like, cause going up high in that elevation, it'll help. I'm like, no, I'll be fine. Like there's a two wheel drive car and not be able to go up a road. It turns out this one is four wheel drive. It's not all wheel drive. Um, which I guess it means I have to turn on four-wheel drive, but it's pretty nice. So yeah, here's the car in the dark It's pretty nice I'm not gonna lie. I enjoy cars that are a little bit higher like SUVs Because I just like being higher off the ground and it's like making me like think like should my next car be an SUV But it probably won't be all right. I am back in my hotel room and the food looks good it looks like five guys they just dumped a bunch of fries in here so yeah i am going to end the vlog here for the night i need to change i need to eat it's like 7 45 right now i need to eat all that shower i want to go to bed pretty early like i said i'm waking up around 4 4 30 a.m i'm not going to show you the food unfortunately i'm sure it's good i got really great reviews so yeah thank you very much to everyone who has tuned into this vlog i hope you enjoyed the muslim mental health conference as much as i did and hopefully next year i'll be able to go back again um, if you are new here, make sure you click subscribe, like, and comment. Stay tuned for future vlogs, my next vlog. And yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate all of your support. I hope this new style of learn, it's not even, I mean, I'm saying season two. There's nothing really new. But yeah, thank you very much. And I need to go. So go, 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 go. I don't know what that was. Have a good night, everybody. And I'll catch you all in the next vlog. Hey.